What is going on guys, the Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to Beam and G Drive, and today we are doing something a little bit different here. Um, basically, we, we drove over here to this dealership, and basically I have something that I wanted to do, but I was like, you know what, I don't know if I should do it, but I finally decided, how about we try it out? So... I came over here to the Dodge dealership, and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at their inventory, just see what type of cars they have, etc. And I'll tell you what, why we want one of these cars, um, but let's walk in here and let's see uh, what they have. So they have a, a good amount. Right now they have a lot of Challengers, uh, a couple of Chargers. I see one over there, that Plum Crazy. Um, let's walk over here. So, uh, this one, I believe that's a V6. Yep, that's a V6. This one here, I believe, is an RT. It says a Hemi. So, yep, this is a Hemi. Yep, RT. Uh, this is Viper. The GTS Viper. Nice car. It is, in fact, a manual. So, it does have that. Black stripes. Really nice looking. And, like I say, this is the Hemi. We're not really looking at Hemis or anything. Um, this one here is the good old V6 uh, Challenger. We'll take. We come back at that in a minute. And then over here, look at this. They got a Dodge Demon, which is really nice, really clean. This one here is, in fact, I believe is that eight-speed auto with the. Demon wheels and tires. This one actually, it doesn't really have the demon. Well, I guess those are considered demon wheels. It looks more like Dodge wheels. <laughs> I thought demon. I thought the demon had his own logo for the wheels, but I guess not. I don't know. And then over here, they oh, look at this. This is a owner of one of one owner of I believe this. What year would this be? This is a 2008, I believe, uh, Dodge Challenger SRT 392 Hemi. It's a really clean, very rare to find a car of this year, this clean, one owner. That's really nice. And then they have a Dodge Charger. This is a 392 Hemi. This is a Daytona edition, which is a really nice, clean spec. Uh, we can open the door. I'm going to show you guys that interior of that Daytona. Uh, kindness show you it. I guess I can get inside. Look at that. Really nice. Love the stitching. That's one of my big favorite things is the stitching on the seat. Uh, automatic. Really nice. The engines, I swear, they fit like a glove in these cars. Like, they fit just right. You have barely enough room to put your hand in between. That's what she said. The engine and the car body. Um, it, they, they stuff these cars really to the max with the engine, that's for sure. Um, and then this is that plum crazy purple Darge Charger, as you can see, 392. It has the same wheels that that 392 has. Same spec almost, just different color, white stitching. I should have did purple stitching, but I, that might have been overdoing it. But, really nice clean. Really, really nice cars. Back end, yep, they're all the same there. But, you guys would be surprised as to what car we're actually here for. It's none of these cars. It's not the Daytona, it's not the 392... It's not the Demon, it's not the Hemi over there, and it's not the GTS Viper. Like, I know what you're thinking. What? Huh? We're here for the one and only V6 in this entire line that you guys see in this entire car dealership here. It's actually this orange V6 car. And why is this? Well... 
this one is in particular is not the car that we're here for. We, I, I had a car special built for me here uh, for from the dealership uh, that we're going to be picking up today. But it's going to be one like this, but just a little bit more higher in. I'll show you guys in a minute. Shout out to Dodge here for uh, doing this for me. Uh, I tell, I asked them, can they, for any chance, can you maybe drive to put the car in the showroom for me? They they was kind enough to do it. But so any of not any of these, but we did build one. I did pre-order myself one. This is like so right behind me is the new car look at this so as you guys can see i bought a sxt now before you guys click away because i know what you guys are thinking why would you buy this we are doing a challenge now if you guys are up to the news of what dodge is doing or the new um thing with dodge is the v8s are gone um they are no longer going to be doing the uh the the hemi they're no longer doing the the hellcat they're no longer doing those engines what they're doing is they're doing a v6 engine or a straight six i should say so basically what uh dodge or in uh stellantis uh, which is Chrysler, what they're doing is they're getting rid of the V8s and they're going to be doing a inline six, which is going to be a 3.0 liter six called the, Hur the Hurricane. Um, and basically it's supposed to be a twin turbo engine. All right. Now, and I know because for me and most of you guys that are like V8, uh well enthusiast i would say um so being a v8 enthusiast we are going to buy just their v we're gonna buy a v6 and we're gonna make our own um car and the other reason i wanted this car and also i want to show you guys the uh this the, the 3.0 which it's not really the same, but you guys get the point, right? It's supposed to be a high output engine. All right. So we got to see if we can make something that is slightly powerful. And the 3.0 is supposed to be around 400 to 450 horsepower uh, with twin turbos. So with this engine here being a 3.6 liter, we're going to do our own build um with their platform of this year make and model and just see can that type of engine keep up or handle this type of car of this weight caliber uh and another thing is that i have an event that i am planning to go to which is going to be you guys ready for it we're going to be challenging ourselves you get what i did there but we're going to be challenging ourselves and we're going to participate in pike's peak that's right uh we have pike's peak uh event that we're going to go to but we got to have a car so i I, th I thought to myself i was like you know what how about i do something different you know everyone does the same type of car everyone does the same type of build how about we do something a little bit different and something that we haven't seen before and that's going to be what that car over there is going to be for. It will be nice to have one of these 6.4 liter V8 Hemis in it. Or uh, one of the 6.2 over there. But we got to do something way different. Way better. I believe it's going to be way better. Uh, it's not going to have the sound of course. As one of these big American V8, uh, V8 cars. Like the Demon or the Hellcat. But... We got to have a platform that's going to be just as quick as the Demon or the Hellcat or the Daytona over there, 392. We're going to have fun with this. You know, it's not going to be the most powerful car. You know, 
as you might as you guys may know I have a 2500 horsepower Dodge Challenger <laughs> which is my drag car. So I wanted to get a charger, but I didn't want to get another V8 because I have a V8 that's crazily built. If you look at it from the front, it kind of looks like a, um, it kind of looks like a, a police car to a degree <laughs> uh, due to the, the front end the way it looks. But here is the new car. Honestly, I'm more excited to build this car and race it. We're going to be doing this and just see, you know, is straight six or V6, is that the, that's, is that the answer to the future? You know, is this, is what, is this what we want? Is this, is the, is this the type of car we want here? In the car community is a twin turbo V6 or straight six. We're going to find out. I'm going to do my own testing here. I'm gonna build my own car.